What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? So y'all already know what time it is. Look, girl, I even got on big earrings for the occasion, okay? Really big earrings with my short little neck. It's real talk, diva time. Real talk Wednesday. So what's up, you guys? I hope y'all all having like a really great day, great afternoon, great evening. Whenever y'all watching this, I hope y'all enjoying y'all day, like for real. So here we are. We back. It's another Wednesday. Cheers to that, okay? I got me some Red Bull Tropical Punch, okay? So what's up, you guys? What's up? Like, today is Monday, okay? Monday, you know, I went to the gym, worked to am. But I felt good, you know what I'm saying? I did feel good. And now here I am talking with you guys. You know, I'm just enjoying life, just enjoying my life. So, you guys, what's up? We're about to get into this real talk. Um, also, just to let y'all know a couple things. It's going to be a week sale. Week sale. I, you know what? I don't know if I want the week sale to be either Friday or Thursday. I mean, excuse me, Friday or Saturday. This coming Friday or Saturday. I, I, I like to do things on the weekends because it's just easier for everybody. More people are off, I would assume, on the weekends. But how am I to know, like, who am I to say? You know what I'm saying? But I felt like maybe the 25th would be, like, a really great day because of this Saturday because it's on a Saturday. But then I'm like, well, why wait to Saturday? What about, you know, you started Friday? Like, you know, so I'm not really sure if I should start it Friday or Saturday. But it is going to be a wig sale. And, you know, I do always have wigs. Sometimes I just have, when I when I do like a wig sale, I guess it's because I've waited so long to put the wigs together to sell them on the website. Instead of me just like posting them each time I review them, that would make it, you know, a lot easier for me versus posting a whole bunch at one time. But either way, you know what I'm saying? Um, there is a nice amount of wigs. And what was I going to say? I really wanted to get my lashes on the site by the wig sale date, but I really don't think that that's going to happen because I'm still in the process of, you know what I'm saying, I'm packaging up the items and I still need to take photos of them. So I don't really think that's going to happen. Plus, I'm in a debate. Like, I really, you know, okay, so the website that I use is Webly.com. It's like a blog spot, but you can also, it's also an e-commerce site. You know what I'm saying? But there are levels like package deals. I've been using this website for, I want to say, probably like 11 years. I've been here in Arizona for eight, and I've used it ever since New York. So I want to say like maybe like nine, ten years. So the version that I use is for free. You know, it doesn't come with a whole bunch of bows and whistles. They may add some new things to the free um, portion of it, but not that I really noticed. But um, you can also pay for the actual um, site too on Webly, you know, there's also package deals. It'll also, if you do pay for it, it won't have the dot webly.com after it, like my site does. But, um, either way, you know, I've been with that website for so long. And if I do pay for, if I do decide to pay for Webly, then there are different ways that I can change it and make it, I guess, more interface friendly, you know, I don't know, user friendly or what have you. But then it's like, do I really want to stay on this website? I know I, I seen like for a big cartel that they have like package deals too, which was really great. Like you could pay ten dollars a month, and you would um have like you would have up to fifty items for that month. So I'm not really sure how I really want to go about it. Um, I do know that I would like for my ear, my eyelashes to be um up on the site soon but i really don't think that it's gonna happen this coming um week sale because girl i got things to do all right i got packages here that just was sitting outside my door okay um but also i wanted to show you guys i did finish some that was this I did finish some of the ear. Why well, I don't know why I want to keep calling them earrings, okay? I did package up some of the eyelashes, all right? I've named them, but I still do need to take pictures of them. So I really don't think that it's going to be popping off for my lashes this coming week sale. But, you know, soon, soon. But anyway, you guys, so anyway, week sale is about to be up and running this either Friday or Saturday 
I'm not really sure what day. Y'all can put in the comments below what y'all think, but yes. So this is all, this is not all, but this is some of the lashes woo, that I have packaged up. And I still have like a nice amount to go. Um, but now I'm just waiting on more boxes because I don't have any more boxes. I purchased boxes three times and, um, so now Tuesday, tomorrow I'll get some, but these are like the marble boxes. So these are one of the, this is one of the, um, collections or one of them. And now look, let me tell y'all, you know how you be having like some of the lashes that have like the nice, pretty little card stock in the back, you know what I'm saying? Right behind the lashes. Sometimes it'd be like glitter or it'd be like, um, an actual, um, plain color paper or whatever so you can buy those already cut all right but you you paying for 50 of them you pay like ten dollars on amazon or six six ninety nine for 50 of them on amazon or you can get them from aliexpress which will take a longer to come and it'll be like you'll get like probably like 10 of them for a hundred you'll, you'll get a hundred for like ten dollars so anyway i'm like hold up i am not about to be paying for those and I want my own little touch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like my own little design. So, I, I got my own little cardstock paper and, and, and cut my own ones up. Or my own little designs. On the lash trays that are clear. But um, the, the lash trays that are not clear, of course, I don't, I don't have to put nothing behind them. And I kind of prefer the ones that are not clear, to be honest. But here goes another pair. These are called Luxie. And if you see, the boxes are different. Like, this one has, like, a gold trim. And then the other box has, um, it doesn't have a gold trim. And I really don't want the ones without the gold trim. I like the ones that have the gold trim. So these are Luxie. I just got to wait for the packaging. So well, they'll be here tomorrow. But I just hopefully, I, I just really want to um, get it on and pop in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really soon. And this is like another marble design. Which is, you know, no, no gold border but a darker color. And this one is called, what are you doing? That's about it for the lashes that I'm going to show y'all. We're going to jump right into this Real Talk Hunties, okay? If you got a Real Talk that you want me to talk about, you can always send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com or aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Make sure to put in the subject line, Real Talk. And in the body of the email, if you want to go ahead and change the names of the people you're talking to, referring about, or what have you, you can go ahead and let me know. So if you don't, I'm going to just go ahead and do it for you. And, you know, these are just my opinions. I'm not telling you to go do and say what I am telling you or talking to you about. It's just my opinions. You know what I'm saying? So on that note, let's get into this Real Talk. Huh? 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 <laughs> all right you guys so for one y'all know how i be feeling about y'all opinions sometimes y'all opinions like you know sometimes i it, it might get to me sometimes i might let it bother me sometimes i just might just let it throw it over my shoulder like it wasn't even there you know sometimes i will respond to your opinions uh, or you know your ideas, not even your ideas, but your opinions, your opinions, your thoughts, you know, sometimes I might even give it like second thought, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But most of the time when it's like something negative towards me, I really don't let it get to me or bother me at all because for what? It's really not worth it. Okay. Girl, listen, it's just the internet. But anyway, so I, and with me saying that, with that being said, I want you to know that this email that was sent to me in no way, shape or form has touched me to the core of my heart where my eyes are going to be tearing or I'm going to come out of character. Okay, like, girl, please, it's not that serious. But it does say just it just only a few sentences to me, which I absolutely love. So I do have two of them for you guys today. And I don't know if this is like we don't like April no more week or month or what have you. I don't really know. I'm not I'm, I don't know if this is the same person from a different email. Um, I really don't know when I say the same person, meaning uh, concerned diva. I don't know if this is the same person right here, but just using a different email. I'm not really sure, but I do know that this is not the same email. Regina. 
at AOL. Okay, so I'm not really sure how relevant this email is, but who even uses AOL? I did not know that AOL was still in existence. I mean, I did know that from somewhat because, you know, good things never die. They die, but they die really, really slowly, like slowly. So I really didn't think that people still used AOL. Like, do they still even have like their instant messenger? I'm pretty sure they probably do. But um, there's so many different emails that you can use besides AOL that I really honestly didn't think that any anybody used AOL. I wonder if Gmail, Google will ever get like unpopular like AOL is now because you know AOL was the leader in the internet. They were like the kings and so now they're just like an old prehistoric dinosaur that nobody really fucks with anymore. So I was shocked when I seen it said at AOL. At first I thought it was like a spam or like some fake person like in India trying to sell me shit but no it's actually an email address from a diva subscriber here on YouTube, I'm, you know, that really doesn't care for me too much, I, 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 I'm feeling. Um, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, so she goes, okay, Regina. Hello, April, my name is Regina, and yes, you can call me by such. <laughs> um, I just wanted to reach out to let you know that I have been a follower slash subscriber slash unsubscriber for the past few years now. And maybe you should change or maybe you should think of changing up your style and do... Maybe you should think of changing up your style and start doing reaction videos on some of the YouTube creators on here. Okay. Maybe you should think about that as it may help your channel grow more. I'm just saying I'm not like a huge fan of yours anymore. Been over the wig tutorials as well as real talks but i just thought i would throw that out there a lot of people do love gossip and drama and maybe your channel would grow if you would just start talking about other people and your thoughts on them and a good place to start would be a good place to start would be using people here on youtube to react to truly regina mm. See, the problem with that is, Regina, I don't like to really sit around and talk about people like that and react to people as much as other people may like to do that. That's not my thing. Like, who am I to be sitting on here judging another YouTube creator about their lifestyle and how they live and who they talk to and how they dress and what they drive and where they live at? Like, true indeed, there are reactors and people that do that. Do enjoy to watch those type of videos. You know what I'm saying? I do enjoy to watch those type of videos. But enjoying to watch them and starting to do them is not my cup of tea. Um, that would mean also for me to be sitting here in my home and dedicating so much of my busy time to watching other YouTube creators just so that way I have content to talk about. You know, it's not really nice to sit around and talk about people in my eyes. However, yes, I do watch it. That may be my guilty pleasure, okay? But I don't really want to sit here and talk about anyone. Like, who am I the fuck to say something about why she wear her weave or wig like that? Who am I to say why the fuck is she with her baby daddy still? Who the fuck am I to say Bitch, you need to go find a new place to live. Who am I to say that? Like, who am I to judge anybody? Like, yeah, I can judge people all day, every day. Like, I'm gonna judge you in a second. But who am I to sit here on YouTube and critique somebody's lifestyle because mine is so much better than others? True indeed, I will talk shit about your motherfucking trailer home or backwoods ass house. Yes, I will, especially if you talk about me. And I think that's fair game, okay? But I don't feel like I need to sit here on a daily basis, bitch, and talk about people. That just, I, I don't think it would sit right well with me. I probably would be the type of reactor, well, you know, I seen Shamika doing X, Y, Z, but you know, I think that she did it well, but I feel like maybe she should incorporate this into, I would be one of those type of people, those type of reactors that's gonna critique you, but in a good way, because I would never want anybody to sit up here and talk shit about me. Cause if you talk shit about me, I'm gonna be real motherfucking pissed. And then sometimes I don't even give two fucks cause you know what I'm saying, I give zero fucks. But if I don't really like nobody sitting up here talking about me, then I really don't wanna do that myself to anybody else. But you know, to each his own. If you're not a huge fan of mine anymore, 
or you don't like watching my videos anymore, Regina. That too, I give zero fucks about because on reality, there's so many other YouTubers that you can sit here watching. Why would you even bother to waste your time sending me a motherfucking email from an AOL um, address that doesn't even have virus check, okay, on it? So therefore, who the fuck do you think that you are to send me an email and tell me how to critique something or who to talk about? I appreciate all feedback and any feedback. Some feedback is worth, um, you know, responding to. Some of it ain't worth shit, okay? But yeah, my thing is this. I don't really care to sit here and talk about people like that, but I do enjoy to watch those type of videos. My real talk is real reality shit, just as well as those content creators that may be t being, being talked about is real daylight day shit. I mean, I don't know. It can be and it can't be. But I'm here to give my opinions about shit that people write me about. I don't give a fuck if it was about World War II. If you email me and you want some advice or some opinions on it, I'm going to talk about the shit. But I don't really want to go stirring up the pot and talking about people. I just don't think that that's a cool thing to do. But yes, it is my guilty pleasure of watching it, okay? But you know, Regina, I do appreciate your feedback, even though some of the things you said might have been a little bit, uh, let's see, childish towards me, as such as you're not one of my fans anymore. But girl, still, you are still a watcher even if you aren't subscribed anymore you still watched me enough to know what the fuck i'm doing so therefore i take your view and i do thank you for that as well as anyone else out there who don't motherfucking like me so on to the next real talk oh like i told y'all last week i don't really try to come off as a mean nasty person because you know what i'm saying that's not me as as a grown-up I'm, I'm just not that person like I feel like we all can learn from one another and we can all voice our opinions. You can voice your opinions in so many ways, eloquently, professionally, ratchetly, you know what I'm saying, stupidly, whatever. There's so many different ways to voice your opinion. I just feel like, you know, I might come off of, at times a little bit harsh, you know, and that is to be said, that's me getting my point across, but never once do I try to, you know, hurt anyone's feelings. But I just find it ridiculous how those who may or may not like me feel like they must take it upon themselves to email me dumb shit and tell me like you don't like me anymore and I'm supposed to do what lose a minute of sleep over it like I, I just be trying to figure that the fuck out like bitch so what you don't motherfucking like me girl I don't like you neither I don't even know you you know me better than I know you I know nothing of you except for the fact that you use fucking old ass retired ass AOL like girl bye you know what I'm saying like on to the next it just but it just boggles me I mean it just really it just girl look I be just looking like so people really do waste their time to write another person to let them know that they really don't like them. Like, you so fucking stupid. So because you wrote somebody an email or a text message or a song or a video and told them that you didn't like them, you felt like the person was going to go do what? Kill themselves over that shit? Lose some sleep over that shit? Stop eating over that shit? Lose a couple of pounds over that shit? If that shit would affect my weight change and make me lose some pounds over, then I would challenge everybody to write me a bad motherfucking email, okay? But it ain't really doing nothing for me, so it's just like... Okay, so you wrote me an email telling me you didn't like me. Get in line, bitch. You ain't the only one. So on to the next one. And she titled this for us, Recognize. Hi, April. First and foremost, I just want to say I love you and it has really been a joy to watch you and your family grow over the years. I've been watching you since Mumsy was a toddler. I just saw a pic of her on your IG and it's making me feel old, girl. Time really flies. I know it's really late, but I wish her a happy belated birthday. I am no stranger to real talk. You have given me advice in the past that has helped me. So I'm back again. My name, parentheses changed, is Moet. In 2017, I wrote to you and all of the names of the people I was in a situation with at the time were all named after liquor drinks. You've done so many real talks since then that I seriously doubt you will remember me. So once again, I've attached a couple of pics because I know you like to see who's reaching out to you. So girl, here goes the bullshit. I sincerely, and I do remember that email actually, all right? I definitely remember her email from two, I don't, you know what, I've done a lot of real talks, but I don't forget like certain ones. So, and, and when it stands out, I do remember. So I definitely do remember. 
So here goes, girl. Here goes the bullshit. I sincerely apologize if it's long and all over the place. It's a lot of background stuff that led up to this. I have an older sister. Let's call this heifer. Boone's Farm, because she gets on my last nerves. Boone's and I were really close when we were kids, but as we grew up, things changed. We are very different. I have a few solid real friends, and that is enough for me. She has always been the type that always needed a friend. Whether they did her right or wrong, I was there for her. I always defended her and looked out for her. And even though I was the younger and smaller sister, I was always stronger in a lot of ways. So I always protected her. Funny thing about that is the fact that she always chose her friends over me. For example, I would beat someone up for messing with her and she would get mad at me for them not wanting to be friends with her after that. This has gone on from childhood into adulthood. We would go a while without talking to each other and I will always be the one to reach out to her because I always felt like that's my sister at the end of the day. So if she needed me, I was going to drop everything and be there for her. I moved out of the hood a few years ago, but if she needed me, she knows that I got her. Now, I'm not really one to get mad by what I see on social media, but I have been posting things and tagging her, and she would ignore them and then post pics of her and some raggedy ass bitch talking about sisters for life. Let's call this raggedy ass bitch old English like the 40 ounce. I looked on Boone's profile and under siblings, she had our brother, who we can call Casamigo, and Old English, who is not even related to us in any way, listed as her brother and sister. Casamigo, my brother, was on a live video and was bragging about something I had done for him, which pissed me off because I am a private person. What pissed me off even more is Boone's had the nerve to get on the live comments tagging me and asking me for money i responded by saying oh bitch you suddenly know me now that was it for me i blocked her on social media and kept it moving it made me realize that she only ever reaches out to me when she wants something from me or she wants me to do something for her other than that i don't exist to her my sister is very popular with a lot of people and if they don't know me she won't tell them that she has a sister which is me but will tell everyone Everyone else that Casamigo is her little brother and Old English is her sister. Fast forward, our grandmother who raised us passed away from, can from cancer. My family had a group chat talking and arranging things. Booms and I were talking on the phone and consoling one another, crying together and all that. She asked me for money to buy her her man, and five of her kids' outfits to wear to the funeral. So I cashed after to her. After she got the money, Boone called everyone except me and asked everybody to dress casually and wear purple, parentheses, our grandmother's favorite color, to the funeral. I walked in there with my man and my son, and we were the only, because these words are like, you know, exaggerate. I was the only one, we were the only ones dressed up in all black. I was looking and feeling like an outsider on top of the grieving and pain that I was already feeling. Then she sees me at the funeral and gives me a head nod and keeps it moving like she didn't even know me. My nieces and nephews ran up to me with hugs and kisses and sat right next to me. After that, people were walking up to me asking me if I was Boone's real sister because they didn't know she had one. Then a few people who were friends who did know me were acting real rude and stank like I did something to them. I wanted to knock a few of them four loco ass bitches out, but it wasn't the time nor place. And I'm trying to grow and be less violent and more humble. April, I was so hurt after the funeral, I didn't even go to the repast. I drove my ass home and blocked my sister. I'm not trying to argue with a person I know won't take responsibility for the shit they do. Plain and simple, I'm tired and I want to be left alone. Now my family, who never reaches out to me any other time, keeps reaching out to me asking me to call Boons and fix things. I'm not going to let her keep using me then acting like she doesn't even know me. We have been here before a million times. I tell her how I'm feeling and she continues to do the bullshit. I'm fucking tired. April, am I wrong for cutting my sister off? Please me please let me know. As always, much love. Lifetime subscriber, Moet. You know what? First of all, I definitely do remember the first email. You know what I'm saying? I definitely do. I can go and go onto my Gmail and type in Moet 
And I bet you that email will come up because I don't delete shit, okay? We got Moet here who really does feel like an unappreciated sister, you know, um, doesn't feel appreciated, feels kind of used by not just the by, by not just the sister, but Boons, but also by the family. Let me tell you something. I'm going to just say this. I be telling y'all all the time, sometimes family be the one that be just the ones that will dig in our backs until we just ready to knock them the fuck out. And then there are family members that are not really blood related to us that are like the best family members ever. If you could pick your family members, I'm pretty sure you would pick some really good ones. Now, you know something? I ha I'm, I'm the oldest. I have a sister with my mom and then I have my brothers. Me and my sister, we used to be really, really close like this, but this was when I used to live there when we was kids growing up. Now we are, I am 12 years older than her. So, you know what I'm saying? We aren't like this anymore because I don't live in the same area as she. That doesn't really make it an excuse, but, you know, we will speak to each other. It's not on an everyday basis. It's not even on a weekly basis. But I do know that we have the respect for one another. Um, and the things that you are experiencing, I thank God that I have never experienced that with my sister. It's unfortunate that people do use social media so freely like it's their own motherfucking diary. They will tell social media everything from the day they got their period to the day they became a non-virgin. Like straight up. Like some things you just need to keep to your motherfucking self. And cool, you can be a private person and keep a lot of things to yourself. Like not sharing it with social media. And true indeed, I don't think I would want anybody on social media sharing the fact that I gave them money because then that opens doors for other people to be like well you know what I'm saying I was just wondering if I could borrow $50 like bitch I ain't heard from you in like 10 years and you just fucking DMing me asking me if you can borrow $50 or how about this one I don't even know you well I, okay you follow my brother who follows my my cousin who follows my sister like I still don't know you why are you in my DMs asking me for money oh because you saw Boons on fucking social media talking about or not, excuse me not Boons but what was the brother's name Amigos or uh, Casamigos um thanking me and shout me out for the money that I, I gave him or whatever first of all some things just need to be kept private you are definitely right about that that's why when I'm out somewhere in public and I might take a picture of that particular place I'm at girl I won't post that shit to the next day or maybe so the late once I get home because I really don't need you coming to where I'm the fuck at not saying that I you know what I'm saying I'm Beyonce but I just feel like you know when you out with your family, just take pictures of the sceneries, enjoy yourself, and then later on, it's all about social media when you sit home. Yes, this is where I was at, but bitch, I ain't there no more. Here's the thing, sweetheart. I don't need no motherfucking body to validate who the fuck I am, okay? You don't need nobody from her social media pages, her social media lifestyle, her friendship lifestyle, her work lifestyle, her in general. You don't need nobody to validate who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be validated as a sister. You know who the fuck you are, and that bitch know who the fuck you are too, amongst many other people. Who the fuck cares if she knows or they know that you are or are not related to Booms or Casamigo or 40? Who gives a fuck, okay? Let's just keep that, let's just keep that out there. We don't need nobody to validate us. Not over here, not in the 40s club. When I say 40s club, meaning not bitch old English bitch, because I'm definitely not that but in the age group of the 40s club, bitch. I don't need nobody to validate who I am. If you didn't know that was my sister, or if you didn't know that was my cousin, bitch, it, maybe it wasn't meant for you to know. How about that? Maybe it was not meant for you to know. And maybe it wasn't meant for them to know that you are her sister. Let me tell you something. Sometimes, <laughs> uh, how do I say this? I do have cousins that I really don't want people knowing that that's my motherfucking cousin because you just are not on my level. And when I say you're not on my level, that don't mean I'm cocky, I'm conceited, I think that I'm better than people or thou, okay? No, bitch, I'm not telling you to bend the motherfucking knee. But what it does mean is me and you are not cut from the same cloth and therefore that means that we carry ourselves differently, okay? Maybe back then we did, but right up to this date of 2021, hun, we do not. Therefore, I don't really want people to know that you are related to me. Yes, I have a cousin who we will call her Akuna, okay? And she would tell everybody that I was her cousin. Girl, this is the type of cousin who I'll have to put my motherfucking shades on. Bitch, don't tell nobody that we related. I don't, I don't want anybody to know that I got a trollop 
Tramp Jezebel as a cousin. Like, you fuck anybody's man. You fuck niggas when your husband went to work. So, in your bed. In y'all's bed. So, I don't really want nobody to know that we related. You don't even wash like that. So, I don't want nobody to know that we related. Bitch, your edges is always all the way back to the nape of your neck. Bitch, I don't want nobody to know that we related. No, girl, you leave your kids in the house by themselves. Like, you did do that back then. I don't want nobody to know we related. Girl, please, you're a follower. You, you know, I definitely don't know what nobody know we're related. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes that's a good thing. Count that as a blessing, Moet. Count that as a blessing that people on social media, some of your sister's friends, don't know that y'all are related. Because if your sister act like that, can you imagine how her friends act? Like, you know the old saying, or maybe you don't. Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather, honey flock together so some of those people you might want to count it a blessing that they don't know that you her sister sometimes that's a blessing and it could be all types of different situations situations like um unlegal situations like non-legal situations you don't you don't want everybody to know that you related to everybody because then if they know that then they're gonna come for you so and it could be good thing it could be bad thing we don't need everybody to know that that's my sister Girl, don't feel like you need to be validated. If that bitch don't want no people to know, maybe that's on her part. And maybe she know why she don't want everybody to know. Because maybe she knows she ain't an all-together put bitch. Okay? An all-together put bitch. Or put together all bitch or whatever. All together. All together put bitch. Like, you can put yourself together, bitch. You all put together, bitch. You all put together, bitch. Okay? Meaning, when your ass is all put together, you together. You together. I got myself put together, bitch. All right? From my head to my toes. All right? toes to head wherever my bills is paid i got a job i got a bank account i got my own shit i'm a put together bitch all right I, I got it together, bitch. Hello. Maybe she know that she's not an all together, put together bitch. And she don't want nobody to know that y'all is related. Because maybe you are such. So it be the whole bunch of shit. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, sis. Okay? That might be your family telling you to put shit together, fix it with your sister. But if you've been there a million times with somebody, sometimes you just got to leave shit the fuck alone. If it was meant to be, it's going to be meant to be. Leave that shit alone. If you and your sister have had this conversation a million times, like you said in this email... Leave that shit the fuck alone. People know where the fuck they belong. People know people will fall in line and fall in their lane and get in that motherfucker after certain several tries. Trust me when I tell you. You ain't got to tell nobody to fall in lane or fall in line and get it together. You can and you cannot. You don't have to because sooner or later, that person's going to realize that they have to get it together. So fix something. Tell your family to leave you alone, sweetheart. How about you just don't even respond and reply to them? Sometimes that's the best thing. I, there be so many times when I want to reply and respond to dumb shit that people have said to me or shit that, have, but for what? You know what I'm saying? Because for what? You just going to continuously say the dumb shit. So, and we going to agree and to disagree. So let's just leave it at that. Sometimes it's just best to leave shit alone and not even respond. So for those of your family members and friends and fuckeries, so fuckeries are the people that you really don't fuck with. You really don't give two fucks about. Their opinion really ain't even relevant. For those type of people too, for everybody who's trying to tell you to fix the issue, ignore them and don't even reply, respond, hit that send button. Don't do none of that shit. Just leave it the fuck alone. But if you respond to them like, no bitch, I'm not fixing it. No bitch, I don't want to speak to her. Don't respond. Be if you, if you do that, it's just going to carry on. It's going to irritate you more. Look at the message and carry on with your day. Okay? You can look and leave them on red if you want to. You can look and leave it on a notification screen if you want to. But what I say this is don't respond to anybody telling you that you need to fix it with boons. That's your business and you don't have to if you don't want to. And the best thing to do sometimes is ignore motherfuckers. Okay? Straight up. Sometimes the best thing ever is to ignore motherfuckers. And that goes for a whole lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? Like people be wanting you to feed into their dumb shit, into their negative shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people just be so motherfucking nosy that they just want to feed you anything and want you to feed into the shit. Straight up. Like, I'm dead ass serious. No, girl. That's why I like to ignore motherfuckers. If you text me and I don't want to be bothered with you, I will thumbs your shit up, okay? With no written response. I'll just give you a thumbs or a heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if I don't definitely ever want to be responsive, 
listen, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not going to deal with too many people and they fuckery dumb shit. And you don't have to need the sweetheart. And the best thing for you ever is to non-respond to all of those motherfucking people that have been telling you to fix it. You don't have to feel like you are supposed to fix anything. Stop allowing people just to irritate you, girl. Let them say they dumb shit on social, pe- social media, okay? Social media is some people's life and their diary. That's all they got. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Some people just can't get by and that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. But don't allow them to take your good vibes for the day, honey. And just ignore them. You ain't got to fix shit. Just carry on with your day and leave it alone. It will soon surpass. And that negative vibe that you keep receiving from your sister, it will fix itself within time. But you don't got to keep feeding into the shit. Like, seriously. Just leave it alone. Especially if you've been there enough times for her. Sometimes things are just best left and not said at all. Straight up. And they'll fix themselves if they're meant to be. So on that note, you guys, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. And I will see y'all in the next video. Deuces, bitches.